channel i don't be know what to say and i hate it I, I feel like for like a year now i've not known what to say for today's video i'm going to be going through my box of old pictures of me when i was younger now they're all my baby pictures um i don't know if there's many baby pictures but i have a full a full thing of stuff so we're just gonna go for like the most important ones and there's also other things in there too that i might want to share so that's what we're doing today let me get comfortable i should get a little couch in here it would fit. It would fit. It's like the little like love seats, but like the one chair love seat that's like huge. Yeah, that's it. I tried to look as kitty as possible in this video, um, which really wasn't that hard. I just put my hair in this little thing right here. And I didn't put any lashes on. I mean, there's really no point of me doing that. I just got out the shower. I did my hair. I was on live, so you probably seen that. And I was talking about doing this video. So yeah, this is what we're about to do. I got this from Goodwill because we shops at Goodwill because we use cans. So yeah, my phone is on one percent already. Hold on. My arm definitely. My arm definitely got caught on the door. If you didn't hear that. Okay, so I did ask people to ask me some questions too, just so this video isn't just like, <laughs> here's me. So I did ask people to ask me some questions, so therefore, we're gonna go through those two. So the first picture I'm going to show you guys, it is in here. I'm going to show this to you guys because the first question has to do with my parents, I think. This was at Balmoral Park. It is in Illinois. I don't know where it's at specifically. And it's a picture of me sitting on the horse and my uncle, or no, that's my cousin. I think it's my second cousin. So my second cousin or first cousin, my cousin. It was me, my cousin, and then a bunch of other people, and then my parents. So here it is. Can you guys see it? Me on the horsey poo. Um, so the first question is, did you have a good relationship with your parents growing up? Like how it is now? I did have a good relationship with my parents. I don't think I didn't. Yeah. I mean, me and my mom used to get into it all the time. So we took therapy, I think about three times total, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of an estimate, but we did take therapy a couple times. I remember one lady I hated. And then we had another lady. And the last lady honestly probably helped us the most because she was the best. We used to go there probably, I think like once a week and we would talk about what we'd argue about because we used to argue about literally everything like she would ask me to do dishes and it would turn to an argument or she would be like can you clean this up and i hated when she did this like can you clean all this up i would be so irritated like even now if she did that i'd be like girl cut it no i'm just joking we had a good relationship for the most part like when i was little and then like once i got to my teenagers we used to argue all the time but then we went to therapy and then honestly i feel like when i came out to her which i didn't even really come out it was kind of like forced because she found a note that's like a, a story time from a long time ago but she found a note and um found out i liked females so i think honestly our relationship after that was like fantastic that's when i felt like i could tell her anything we were good me and my dad um we've always been good i think yeah i mean when he found out i was gay he just acted a damn fool but he had to get over it so i mean he loved it now he doesn't care but like back then he was like uh no which honestly i feel like if i wasn't gay i'd be pregnant i probably would have had three kids by now so that came out as a good thing i think our relationship was pretty decent i mean it's it wasn't like how it is now but it was it wasn't like horrible i have so many pictures it doesn't make sense ew here's a picture of me because it's just fucking gross like this is disgusting and matter of fact i should keep all these pictures out ew no i should do this one because it's long where was i at i was on my couch playing sims i could tell because i had the the mouse on my leg and i loved i just don't I, ugh, I just don't even know what to say. My hair was so thick. My hair was thick as hell growing up. And it was so long, like wow. I would love to have that hair right now. But it's probably not gonna be that long until I'm like 30 because I don't know how to take care of my hair. And I also cut my own bangs, so don't talk about me. So this is the picture, gross. <laughs> I was playing Sims, I've been playing Sims for a very long time. So I was most likely was playing Sims. I was probably on the phone with one of my friends and it was nighttime, obviously. Um, the next question is, did you ever break anything as a child? So I did not break anything, but I did sprain my wrist. I was on one of those little, those little electric scooter things. And I think I hit a rock, I think. I think I hit a rock and I fell off of it and sprained my arm. This is not an ankle. Did I just say my ankle? I think I did sprain my ankle. I think I sprained my ankle. No, I feel like I sprained my arm. I don't know, I sprained something though, but I never broke anything until I was I was 18 already it was my senior year of high school and me and my friend were driving and we were driving in Gary it was going down 7th and Grant or something and there was a big manhole cover in the middle of the road my friend was a new driver at the time so when I seen it and I realized how fast she was going I was like slow down bitch and she didn't so when she hit into it there's a sensor at the front of your car and it basically triggers the airbag so the airbag came out 
me with my natural reflexes i dodged that shit which i'm glad i had contacts in because i feel like if i would have glasses my glasses would have broke probably fucked up my eye but i dodged it and when i dodged it the airbag the airbag y'all hit so hard on my motherfucking wrist it broke it that broke my wrist and that's why i don't really like airbags but that's just my personal experience i don't like airbags because it broke my wrist which honestly if it wouldn't have came out i probably would have got whiplash and all that other stuff so i don't know maybe it was beneficial but i broke my arm and that's that so this next picture is a picture of me my nephew my niece and my brother-in-law and we were in her pool playing chicken here it is can you guys see that i have to like look over like this <laughs> um so i'm up here by the way little brown girl so the next question is what hobbies did i have as a child so my hobbies as a Wild. I really miss this pool. This pool is great. Or not this pool, but the balcony is great. Speaking of that, I kind of want to go to my sister's. <laughs> Hobbies that I had as a child, I liked, I was a follower, honestly. Um, One of my, my babysitter's daughter was in gymnastics, so it kind of motivated me to be in gymnastics. And then my niece was in softball, so she inspired me to be in softball. So those are the two things I did. Those are the two sports I did. Um, Hobbies. I wasn't tap dancing. I don't remember I really don't remember it at all. I, I was like about five, six maybe. I was young when I did tap dancing. And I think that's it. I wasn't much of a hobby type of girl. Speaking of my babysitter's daughter, but for privacy reasons, your girl ain't gonna show her. Okay, so the next question is, am I an only child? No, I am not. I have a sister and a brother. My brother is, I don't know how old. You just never know. Um, I don't know how old he is, um, but I do have an older brother. I posted him not too long ago because I seen him when we went out to Wisconsin. And I also have an older sister, which is my fave. I love her so much. Here's a picture of me and my mom and my sister. We were at our yearly um, Wisconsin trips. Unfortunately, I don't think we're taking one this year, which really sucks because I'm actually out here. Like ever since I moved to Arizona, the first year I didn't go. And then the other two, I had to fly to Wisconsin. Well, actually last year I flew to Indiana and then I drove to Wisconsin with them, like in a different car, but like we just all drove together. But the year before that, I ended up flying to Wisconsin and then driving from wherever I landed to Wisconsin Dells. So this was our Wisconsin Dells trip. Um, that is my sister. But I wanted to say that I consider, I don't say it to people, but like I grew up with my niece and my nephew. So I do kind of consider them like my brother and sister um, just because I basically, I grew up with them. So they were like, like my sister was kind of like my mom in a sense. And then my niece and nephew were like basically my siblings. So this is my niece. She has her own business on Etsy. It is called Seti Bath Co. So make sure you go shop with her. And then this is my nephew. You guys see my nephew all the time though so i mean this is nothing new but that's my nephew i just wanted to show this picture of this memory real quick just because um i don't have any questions that like pertain to this but i love her so much um this is my mom and her best friend aka my godmother lori she passed away a couple years ago from colon cancer and it sucks makes me sad because i loved her so much and i do have a tattoo of her actually and i wanted to get it finished a minute ago but i just i'd be forgetting i just wanted to share that memory because i love her and and when she passed away she um told her kids to my knowledge she told her kids like when you see a feather basically it's me i think it's so ironic because i have a feather tattooed on me already after she passed away i've never seen so many feathers in my life so i definitely believe in stuff like that i just always think about the good memories with her i'm getting emotional but we ain't finna get emotional but i just think of all the good memories with her it's a lot so i mean i could go on for days about her she was the best what was my childhood nick Nine. Do we really gotta say it? I don't wanna. I, 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 I don't wanna. But I have a picture right here of me and my mother. So um, we were actually at Navy Pier. Oh, I think this is the day that my dad always fucking talks about. So um, this is me and my mother. We were at Navy Pier. We got on one of those speedboat things and my dad had the time of his fucking life. He thought it was so hilarious. And he wants to go again. So hopefully we could go again sometime soon. I really hope this fucking pandemic just slows down because like, come on now. Come on! The question was, what was my childhood nickname? I used to be called, well I still get called Boo Boo. My dad calls me Boo Boo. My mom calls me Boo Boo. Um, my sister and them used to call me Chris, but they don't call me Chris that much anymore. They usually just call me Chrissy or they call me Ja-Crispy. Don't ask where that came from because I just don't know. I really don't know where the nickname Ja-Crispy came from. I don't remember. Maybe I do know, but I just don't remember, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I don't care. I think it's funny. I love when like my family just thinks of weird names to call me. So. Oh, I found some baby baby pictures of me and a picture. Gross. I don't want to show that. This was from ninth grade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 2010 so that means this was 10 years ago um i was 14 years old this was moa so that means that i got my tongue pierced when i was 15. i always get everything mixed up so i got my tongue pierced when i was 15 because i know for a fact i was a freshman because i was in freshman academy so i remember sitting in class and having the mouthwash sitting on my desk and keep having to switch it in my mouth and get up and spit it in the garbage so i was 15 when i got my i might have been 14 shit i don't know that's crazy but this is when i was 14 i was a little freshy period the question is do did i ever get into fights no i got into one fight and it was the trashiest ass fight i've ever gotten into in my life well i've never gotten into a fight besides that it was trash it was stupid it was like it wasn't even a fight i wouldn't consider that a fight it was like let's slap each other around real quick and then get in trouble and get suspended and i ended up getting suspended why don't know because the girl that i was fighting i used to date and she hit me up and was like i'll beat your ass i said bitch beat my ass tomorrow in the motherfucking cafeteria in the morning 8 a.m period and she walked up to me and we just started slapping each other we didn't even fight so like if we if we're like being technical no i have never gotten into a fight so these next pictures are gross <laughs> this is from 96 so i don't know if i was already obviously i wasn't already one wow i'm slow but this is my baby picture you um the next question is is there anything i would change about my childhood honestly no i don't feel like my childhood was any type of traumatic experience or sad depressing which i feel so sorry for people that have to go through like traumatic experiences growing up because i feel like you growing up is like your prime like that's when you really find yourself and all that other stuff so i've never been through stuff like that so i had a pretty good childhood this is also another picture and i think this is from 97 i think i was one or two in this picture look a little chrissy i know i'm shaking like a bitch but it is what it is so that's me oh my god i found a picture of my roxy boo to my sissy <laughs> this is to my sissy that is too cute so living with my mother probably when i was around i don't know how old i was 15 16 I had that dog forever but we got a dog and her name is roxy and that was my baby she was a chihuahua too i think she was a chihuahua mixed with like a wiener dog i don't know what specific they're called but she was a chihuahua mixed with a wiener dog i think that's what she looked like at least she was like long but a chihuahua so that was my baby bro she went with me everywhere she would come to my room her little fat ass she was fat too like oh i love her so much i'm gonna show this picture this was i wish i wish there was dates so this was um september 2011 i think um this was my homecoming this is me and my mother the question that somebody asked me was was i bullied because i was mixed i don't ever recall being bullied because i was mixed um in times that i don't remember but other than that like no and it sucks because like so many people get bullied because they're mixed and i just i never had that so like i was just like i was just confused like why would people be bullied because they're mixed i don't understand why people get bullied because they're mixed like i don't know i don't get people i don't get why people bully anyways i was never Never a bully i was never bullied i wish somebody would fucking bully me because bitch i had a motherfucking mouth like ain't nobody finna bully me period favorite childhood snack which they're bringing back which i don't even know if they already brought it back but we need to figure that out a sap boo the dunkaroos period period i mean technically like i should ask my mom that because she would know the most but what i can remember that was my fave was them dunkaroos poo and they better bring them hoes back and they're gonna be sold out because i'm gonna buy them all period and i know i just said that super fast but it is what it is so i am pretty sure this picture is from prom no prom i don't prom once um this was my homecoming i don't even want to show it this is me and homecoming okay don't make fun of me the dress was bomb i was slim as shit like it was great it's okay though because i got my motherfucking waist trainer that i was asking people about the other day and i got me one so just wait on it okay because now i'm a grown woman i had a little girl body now i got a grown woman body but i want that grown woman body to look how the fuck i want it to look period so anywho um i had my hair done i don't remember who did my hair my friends auntie did my hair my friend's auntie did my hair she actually put the sewing in i think i dyed my hair blonde i think it was already blonde man i would do myself up for prom now like let me just do a video where i act like i'm going to prom because baby period like ooh. so nails were a random color uh yeah i don't uh. someone asked when was my first period my first period was when i was 13 yeah it had to be when i was 13 it had to be when i was 13 so yeah i think it was when i was 13 
quarantine like back then i was like a late bloomer which i still am i don't have any titties and they come already because i'm getting irritated i got my period at 13 back then everybody was like oh my gosh so late having period having a period for this long now is like okay i could have waited a lot longer like why are y'all so thirsty to get y'all motherfucker period <laughs> I don't want mine. Um, but yeah, so I had my period hella late, apparently. I wouldn't consider that late, but whatever. Where was the most exciting place you went as a child? Oh, I just wish I had a picture. That would be so dope. The most exciting place I went was to California and Arizona. I think I was like 11 or 12. I remember I was in middle school, so obviously I was like 12 or 13. And my sister took me, she used to take me everywhere. Any trip I went on was with my sister. Oh, I have two actually. So we went to California first and we stayed with my brother-in-law's sister and I had so much fun and we went to a lot of different places. And then we drove to Arizona where my niece's best friend used to live. Um, and we stayed there for a couple days and I wish I don't remember that and it sucks because I now that I've lived in Arizona it's like wow when I went I just like I just remember being hot that's all I just remember being hot and that's it and I think where she lived it was kind of like in the middle of nowhere like it was like in like one of those cities that didn't have a lot of city or anything so I remember her house was so nice though I wish I could like I wonder if she remembers the address I'm gonna ask her because that house was nice and then another one was to Minnesota we went to Minnesota I don't remember how old I was but that was so much fun we went to the Mall of America and I think every day we went like up a floor that's how you know that mall is huge it was great I would love to go back this is the next picture of me it's me and my mother Mother's monkey she loves this monkey I think she still has this monkey she loves this monkey and that's it that's that's little old me um so this next picture is gonna be me and my best friend I'm gonna cover this bitch um so this is me and my best friend oh my hair was actually not that bad looking I used to cut my own bangs all the time and I'm glad I know how to cut hair now because that looks horrible oh and I used to dye my own hair so you guys see that that's me, like that's all me. I did that. I think my mom just wouldn't pay for me to go get it done, I don't know. But she didn't care if I did it at home. I don't know what the situation was. But my first kiss was when I was really young. Well, no, I had my first kiss when I was like 10. No, not even, I was probably like seven. I was young, but he just kissed me on the cheek. It was like my biggest crush ever. I really wish I remember his last name because I was in love with him. And I just know now he probably looks like shit. But um, my actual first kiss is when I was 13. That's my first kiss when I was 13. And that's when I started doing bad things. Oh, I just had that picture of all my friends too. The next question was, how many friends do you talk to from your childhood? And I think that is such a good question because I had a lot. I actually talked to a lot of people from my childhood. Probably not as consistent. Shit. probably not as consistently as like others i do talk to a lot of people from my childhood now i know that picture somewhere in here i just seen it i talked to probably about three or four people i want to like probably three or four people from my childhood um my best friend is from my childhood i've known her since i was eight so she's from my childhood so the next picture i'm going to show is me and my faja this was at my grandma's house before she passed away we used to go there a lot i wish i had the date i don't get why they don't put the date on these like they put everything else but the date so that was me and my father i'm going to show this picture because it has to do with the next question this is my mother and my grandmother so the next thing was what's the worst thing you ever went through as a child um to my knowledge is when my grandma passed away i don't get into that too bad because every time i talk about her i would think i'm not gonna cry and then i end up crying basically like when i i don't remember how old i was specifically but i was young and we for months would go to the hospital we'd go to rush hospital in chicago every single day after school like my mom would pick me up from school we go straight to the hospital i'd be there do my homework there and then we go home repeat it would be every single day and i my mom just woke me up in the middle of the night one night and told me that she passed away and it broke my fucking heart so that was something that was very um that was one of like the worst things that's happened to me as a child this is me as a baby again my baby ass <laughs> oh my gosh this was 96 too i wasn't even old <laughs> um the next question was what was my favorite thing to do outside honestly i can ask my dad <laughs> 
I like to swim in like rainwater, which is gross. I like to ride on my skate. I like to do chalk, like write with chalk on the, the cement. Um, when my when they got me that little electric scooter that I broke my leg or whatever on, I used to love doing that. Um, I used to love riding bikes. I love being outside. This is a picture of me. I'm pretty sure I was like, I had my, my lip ring. I had a lip ring, y'all, gross. Um, I had my lip ring, so honestly, I was probably like 16 in this picture. Gross, disgusting, disgusting. These are more baby pictures, wow. When did I get all these? I don't recall. This picture of me I love just because I feel like this is exactly how my baby would look. Like if I had a girl, I feel like she would look just like this. And I would just love to have a little me running around. <laughs> oh y'all, let me show y'all this picture. Y'all see this picture? I got a motherfucking story for y'all. So when I took this picture with my mother, I don't know if it was that same day, I'm pretty sure it was, but I was in the mirror. I took a piece of paper, I rolled it up and then, uh, I believe I did this, like that's so lame. I rolled it up and then I lit it and then was taking pictures acting like I was smoking. I wish I could find those pictures. I, I wish I could find those pictures because I would show y'all. <laughs> like, no, that was disgusting. Um, this is a picture of me and my grandma. Love my granny. Um, and then this is a picture of me. It doesn't have a date on it though, but I'm pretty sure I was like two, maybe, maybe one. I don't know. I love these pictures though. They used to get pictures of me, baby. I was the mother fucking it oh in this picture i love i would get this picture blown up if i could this picture i love i just look so cute in it that's all it has to say all right y'all i think that's it i think that's what we're gonna do because that was low-key a lot gross all right so that's the end of this video because ain't nobody trying to see all that no more so if you made it to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i forgot to say at the beginning of this video that your girl made her only fans okay and i'm showing that ass no i'm just joking i'm not showing anything like i do be posting like feed pictures and feed videos and stuff so if you want to go subscribe to me that link will be down in the description below 15 dollars a month no meetups no none of that it's just my footsie poos that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to all my social media on the screen and i will see you guys next video <laughs>